Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So, <laughs> so we're standing in the middle of what is apparently one of the most haunted parks in California. We are at Prospect Park in Redlands and this is a huge ass park. I'm whispering because we're literally like in the middle of nowhere. I don't know who the hell is here. Someone could be fucking watching us. I don't know. We've been walking around for a little bit, kind of trying to figure out where to go because apparently there have been several murders that have happened in this park. And the one in particular that is for certain that happened, happened at the park's theater. So we've been trying to figure out where that theater is located and I think that we found it. So we're gonna start walking there now. And there's a full moon behind us. So it's spooky. Spooky tanks. This is fucking scary. So like I was saying, apparently there have been several deaths or murders here. This is the entrance to the theater. Also, um, I totally forgot about this. I'm just reading the stories right now online. Um, apparently, this, this park is a prime location for satanic worshiping and uh, rituals. So, that's great. Let's go into the forest. You could use them for later, later videos. What is that? What is that? So this is the theater, as you can see. So yeah, you probably can't. can't. <laughs> What the fuck? Stop playing! What the fuck? Stop playing! What the fuck is that? Ah! Theater seats here. And then you can't really tell from this far. But there's a stage right there. Quite nice. I'm scared for you. I don't want you to like run into something. Oh, this, this is actually this spot. Right? It's right there. It's nothing. Okay. <laughs> That's reassuring. We've been hearing a lot of weird noises. And I'm very creeped out. So I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible. But, um, there was a murder that actually happened. Um, in this area. There's a lot of, like, falling, um, What do we do? What do we do? What do you want to do? I don't know. It's because like, 
you're you're rarely freaked out and so when you look around it freaks me out i'm just trying to see him before <laughs> there's no i know but like i'm trying to get caught up like I've been saying, there have been a few murders that have happened here, and one in particular that happened here um, was at this theater that we're standing in front of right now, and it was with a little girl, an 11-year-old little girl. Her name was Leanne, and one day when she was walking home from school, One day when she was walking home from school, I believe she was walking through this park because it was a shortcut to her home. And um, as you can tell from what I've shown you so far, this park is very large and it has very big trees. And so she was walking home and I believe she cut through one of the trees. Um, she cut through one of the trees one day and she was abducted. Apparently this happened at around 4.30 in the afternoon and neighbors and people around the area had reported screams and someone begging to stop. They found her body naked laying under the stage in the park later that afternoon. Her body had been placed in a small area of dirt that had been smoothed and leveled out and she was placed on her sides with both of her hands together under her head and her knees pushed up towards her chest. Her hair was perfectly combed and if it were not for the fact that both of her eyeballs had been removed from her head, it would appear that she was simply taking a nap. All of her clothes except for her underwear and the shoes and socks that were left in Orange Grove were completely clean and dusted free, folded neatly, almost perfectly, a few feet away from her pretty much the story of Leanne and apparently it happened on the stage so I think we'll go check it out really quickly see if we see anything there's like <laughs> nature sounds but like honestly it's freaking me out but um we'll go down we'll check it out and yeah I believe this murder happened in the 70s, so I'm not sure if they have remodeled the theater at all during that time. Um, but somewhere in this general area is where they found her body. I don't know if I mentioned it because I was kind of freaked out, so I was kind of skimming through the facts of the story, but um, she was, obviously her death was horrible and very sad and tragic. Um, In 2013, a man was arrested for raping and murdering a woman, and afterward, her dead body was discovered in this park. I don't know where exactly, but somewhere around here. 
I don't know what this has to do with the park, but I guess it just adds to the fact that people say that the city itself is haunted, but a little boy got hit by a bus, and apparently at his school you can, like, people say that they see, like, a little boy on the swings. I don't know about that. But I think I'm ready to go. <laughs> that is good. So maybe we'll go walk around a little bit more and... <laughs> a little squirrel over there. It sounded like a bat. Or a bird. Or a bird. Look at this little house. Looks like a has a witch's hat. So during the day, this park is actually known to be really beautiful. People take their um sorry I'm out of breath. <laughs> People take their engagement photos, their graduation photos here, all kinds of things. That's kind of weird to have here unless they died here, no? That's interesting, I've never seen that at a park. Oh, this city does look beautiful from here. Oh my god. And I was scared. No Nosferatu. Stupid. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're gonna go home. That's it for this week's video. As always, love you guys very much. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below for new videos every single week. As always, I love you guys very much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.